Hello, wonderful family. You are most welcome to Inspiration Behind the Hymns. My name is Jojo Ahin Ajimawete, your regular host, and I'm here with Elder Kofi Owusu-Efriye. Elder? Azu. Akwaba. <laughs> yeah. Akwaba. Yeah, I'm Akwaba, by Inspiration Behind the Hymns. Um, Elder, before we start, you know, yeah, yeah, and two, SDH. Two six four, oh four. That flame of living fire. Here we are now, Bompe. When I introduce, Kwa and the new member, busy you mean? See, you're your first stanza, no? Okay, that will be fine. word of prayer. Oh, for that flame of living fire, which shone so bright in saints of old, which bid their souls to heaven as par, calm in distress, in danger bold. Father, we thank you so much once again for this privilege. We commit our worship service in your hands. Kindly descend from above. Bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Indeed, we are honored for allowing us into your homes today. And we are privileged to have with us. Middle East SDA Church Choir Ufi Ashaiman. Middle East SDA Church Choir. Oh, the Middle East one who is in our honor or Jericho or in fact a Galilee wow. or Jerusalem. BBA or Middle, Middle East. <laughs> Middle East. In the Yaminadum, Yenya Middle East for Warbabe, Boy and Ma Yatotonium is a Nizin Ayo. Na. Middle East for New Life District. New Life District for Meridian Ghana Conference. Our tema. And our war. Sahima, Ozukana Obotu, was our man here. SDH 264. Oh, for that flame of living fire. Now, you mean, you power your arrangement, you know, with friend of Samuel Dyer. Uh, ma other west and also a bay ma sami otum oye the ma arrangement your friend of william baddest william baddest other no william h baddest baddest uh, uh. Juju, this is very one very beautiful hymn that we have in our hymn book oh for that flame of leaven fire it was written by William Bathurst. He was born August 28, 1796, at Clevedale, near Bristol. He was a son of a member of parliament for Bristol. Oh, okay. Yeah. Graduated from Oxford University in 1818 with a BA. Wow. He wrote several books and over 200 hymns including 533, O for a Faith, in the Seventh-day Adventist mm. hymn now. Yeah, he wrote it. You know, this hymn is based on the experience of the Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the Bible says that they moved, they were moved by the Holy Spirit, that is, the, the apostles, mm -hmm. and they had this flame of what? Fire, mm -hmm. the form of tongues. Mm -hmm that was placed on their, on, on their heads. 
Bardes wants us to understand that the Holy Spirit manifested itself in similar fashions in the Old Testament. However, not as outwardly manifested as it was in the Book of Acts. Okay. So the Holy Spirit has always been with us, right from what? The beginning. Okay. So he picked seven wonderful scenes of God that he wants us to understand that the Holy Spirit is not, he is not present only in the New World Testament, mm. but he predates the word, the New Testament. In fact, he is God, one of the word, Godheads, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So he says that, that spirit, where is that spirit which dwelt in what? Abraham's breast and sealed him. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit in the book of Ephesians. And he's saying that that Holy Spirit sealed Abraham. He made Paul's heart with sorrow what? melt. Mm -hmm. How Paul experienced his conversion word experience is because of the Holy Word Holy Spirit. Spirit yes. It says, he breathed in Isaiah vivid page. Put the book of Isaiah. We call him the silver tongue writer. Mm -hmm. He is poetic. He is vivid. And breathe in David's hallowed lease. Mm. Is not thy grace as mighty now as when Elijah felt its power? Mm. When glory beamed from Moses' brow, mm. Moses to extend that he had to veil his face because they were even afraid of him. Mm -hmm. It was because of the Holy Word Spirit. Spirit. And lastly, Job endured the trying hour. So all these saints of God were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Seven of them, Abraham, Paul, Isaiah, David, Elijah, Moses, and Job. Mm. So he used them as an example that the Holy Spirit has always been with God's children. Yeah, wonderful song. It is. It is, indeed. SDH 264. Mm -hmm. Oh, for that flame of living fire. And you mean William Baddest. Now, what's your way, Now, tune was arranged by Samuel Dyer. Oh, no, oh, yeah. Now, Middle East SDH Church Choir. I wore a shy man. What will you mean, a flat major? Yanko Yanko Tee, Nayambra. Build your souls. 
Such a beautiful rendition of SDH264. The Middle East. Oh, Middle East. We thank God for their lives. Unfortunately, one tool bomb will be out. Wow. Grenade be out. Be careful. It's a one year, one fine. As some Jew or Hope, I will tell you this year. Or this year, I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. Yes, you next him. SDH105. Sing to the great Jehovah's praise. Sing to the great Jehovah's praise. Praise na yumi Charles Wesley, no Troy. Wanya mbwafi Nicholas Herman, Nicholas Herman. Elder. Yeah. Uncle no, Charles. Yeah. Uncle Charles himself. Yes. <laughs> Sing to the great Jehovah's praise. This praise hymn, as we said, is was written by Charles Wesley. It was first published in a little penny tract of seven poems titled. Hymns for New Year's Day. That was in 1750. Okay. It is a hymn that has been included in every Methodist hymnal, except the one published in 1882. Mm. So it's a very popular, popular hymn, hymn sung by our Christian friends, the Methodist. Yeah. It's a hymn about new beginnings. Mm. Why new beginnings? At the beginning of every new year, we greet each other. Happy what? New Year. Afiye de bibri enko nemede ebetiye. It also tells us about this wonderful person called Solomon, his new beginning. Okay. Why new beginning? When you read the stanzas two, it says, "His providence had brought us through another furious year. Mm -hmm. We all, with vows and anthems new." Before our God appear, mm -hmm. before our God appear. Mm -hmm. It is the Lord who by his grace sees us through 365 what, yes. days. And even us hoping for another what, 365 days yeah. to come. That is why in, in the tree we greet each other. The reason why this hymn is important is that the writer based this hymn on 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 10 to 14, where Solomon was starting a new beginning for him. He was 20 years old, and God asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Mm -hmm. He said, you have given me the throne of Israel. I am just 20 years old. Mm. I'm about to embark on this project, new what beginning. I need what wisdom. Mm -hmm. God was happy with Solomon. So God says that I will not only bless you with wisdom, I will bless you with what? Riches. Bless you with honor. Bless you with peace. These were unconditional promises mm -hmm. that God himself blessed Solomon with. Yes. But when you read 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 14, there is a conditional promise mm -hmm. that God said, if you will walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Mm. So Charles Wesley is saying that if we want the new year, if we wish that God would look after us, that this year will go and come, then it is important that as children of God, we are what? We are obedient to his commandments. Because it was a conditional promise that God gave Solomon. Mm. And Solomon somehow missed it. Mm. Because he was just 60 years old when he died. Mm. He was 20 years old when he became king. Mm -hmm. so ruled for 40, 40 years, years. And then he died. Oh, so he didn't get that what? Full length of years. Because he did not. Because he... he did not obey God word fully. Mm. He messed his life up a bit. Mm. So the lesson here is that as we are embarking on new projects, as we are embarking on a new year, let us remember that it is God who lengthens our years. Mm. And let us all with sobriety mm -hmm. honor him by obeying him. Amen. Amen. That is the essence of this praise song mm. that we have. Sing to the great 
Jehovah's, Jehovah's praise. praise. And the reason is that he is the only one who lengthens our years. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, Yanko Yanko Tay, and you might Charles Wesley, and Andy Nicholas Herman, what Roy. Now, Middle East for a bottle, no, E flat major. You could say, Nayambra. Such a lovely ministration by the Middle East SDA Church Choir. Wow. It was your friend, Abonyum. Abonyum, yeah, they are me, I say. Edda, you're sure you're next him. Yeah, yeah. SDA H215. The title is The Cain Shall Come. And you may John Brownlee. Oye Melvin West. Yeah. And uh Oye. Now Oye it's in unison. You see. Just one voice. The king the shall come. <laughs> the king shall come. You know when you know my, my, my grandmother was about eighty seven years. Mm. Then she asked my mother, Yes now most of no. We are sure so beba. You know, she was mm. eighty seven years old. She, she has waited. lived with the expectation. <laughs> <laughs> of the heart of what Jesus yes. Christ and he was not coming so mm. she was asking before she died when the Bible says that John chapter 14 I am going to prepare a place for, you. for you and if I go out I will I'll come, come again. again so John Brownlee was emphasizing this point that the king shall come mm. it's non-negotiable mm -hmm. he will come this hymn originally of seven stanzas was first published by John Brownlee. That was in 1907 mm. in Hymns from the East. It's a collection of Greek hymns. His greatest work was the translation of Greek hymns from the East. That okay. was what John did for us. Okay. This time, not from the West, but from, mm. what? from the East, from the East. Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> he was born in Glasgow, Scotland. Mm. That was August 3. 1857, studied at the University of Glasgow and also the Free Church College, mm. granted his license to preach by the Presbyterian Church in 1884. Mm. The song captures what we have just enumerated. The fact is that Jesus Christ will come. The King shall come. Mm. He shall come in his glory. 
the return of the king should be a significant longing and theme for us. Most hymnals who places him under the heading second coming, mm -hmm. and the language of the song speaks for itself. Yeah. We know from scripture that God determines this hour that he will come, mm -hmm. and not man, not even what, the son. So when it is time for the king to come, he will, he will certainly will come. That is the essence of this beauty for him. Mm -hmm. So the stanzas portray the fact that he shall come. He shall come. Yeah. Obeba, a bazi, a kumbiad obeba. Now, the issue, um, the second line of stanza five. Yeah. Osi hill, Christ the Lord, your people pray, come quickly, King of Kings. Yen Ericum, Dom Brandt, he should come quickly. Now, Master Mammy Bissa in there. Wara, Abu Awa, are you prepared for the coming of the Lord? Yanko ni yanko nko SDH 215. John Brownlee, onye Melvin West, na watroy, the king shall come. Ebu sinyafono wabotu wano, F minor. Yanko nko tei, ni yambra. Rendition by Middle East SDA Church Choir. I mean, the Yesha program here, see, will be a new hour about two um, F minor. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they, they are the very first. Yes. See, what two F minor, the dead, the, or the Amayan, the Yamiasi, or the Yamsha, a Korora, Ozido, SDH 254. And wow. this is one of my favorites. Favorite of the many, great many, many Christians. Physician now is near. Is near. 
Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus blessed. I'm hunter. I know hunter in your name. Onye J H Stockton. J H Stockton. And uh, onye ne I throw them. And you the day day. You know I throw. I know I was sing. Yeah. Ego. Beautiful hymn. Oh da. Juju, I think um, our audience will understand the spirit behind the song that had been sung for ages, mm -hmm. written by William Hunter, the great physician now yes, is near. near. You know, there are physicians that we have here on earth, some of whom are not very close. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sit in the car and I see the ambulance pass by. The physician is a distant away. Mm -hmm. They are trying to get to that physician mm -hmm. with a sick person in traffic. And sometimes I just pray for that person in the ambulance. Mm -hmm. He is not near. Mm -hmm. But this, our great physician, is our always, always near. near. Amen. Amen. It was written by William Hunter. Mm -hmm. William was born 26th of May, 1811, in Antrim County, Ireland. While he was still a child, the parents moved to New York in Pennsylvania. He graduated from Madison College in Pennsylvania where he spent several years preaching and teaching. He taught Hebrew and biblical literature. That was his area. Okay. Yeah. Authored about 125 hymns. Mm. He was a member of a 12-member committee appointed by the General Conference of the Methodist Church mm. to revise the hymnal in 1878. He wrote this wonderful hymn. The great physician now no, is near. near. The story has it that he was in a train and there was a railway accident. There were several fatalities. Mm. Many people died in that railway accident. When he, he was also in that, in, that, in that train when it happened. Mm. But fortunately, somehow, there were several medical doctors who were traveling with a contingent at the time. Okay. And the work of these doctors and nurses, the paramedics, in saving a number of lives moved him so much. Mm. Had it not been for the presence of these doctors and paramedics on board the train, many, many, many would have died. Mm. So out of that experience, he was meditating, reflecting what what a privilege that you have a medical person, very hot, close, when there's an emergency. Perhaps in the aircraft, mm -hmm. we read a story last week where a man who had a heart attack mm -hmm. was saved by a doctor on board an airline. Yeah. I will not mention the airline's name. Mm -hmm. You know, the doctors were on board, yeah. therefore they saved his life. Mm -hmm. The hymn is that the great physician is always what? Mm -hmm. Near. And that great physician is Jesus Christ. Amen. He looked at the circumstance he saw mm. when there was an accident and the fact that these doctors, paramedics, were saving lives mm -hmm. to write this priceless hymn mm. for us as Christians. Wonderful inspiration to write this wonderful piece. And you only a day. And some no woman so a day. William Hunter. One J H. Stockton, the great physician now is near. SDH 254. Uh, Middle East SDH Chachkwa, Obotono, D flat major. 
Yanko yanko tayi inyumi na yambra. a glorious ministration by the Middle East SDA Church Choir. Hi! 
Paddy's no way good. Maybe no way good. Elder, I've enjoyed the Ex administration excel today. Excellent. Excellent. When you are pa. I love their uniform as well. Pa. Yeah. Why is it? Why is it? Gebuna Nencro, Yamin Shamo. Elder, I'm sure you're next one. Um, SDH 271. Break thou the bread of life. Break thou the bread of life. And you mean Mary Ladbury. Mary Ladbury. On your Alexander Groves. And a William Sherwin. And a watch roll. And you mean. Dada. You know, um. Communion song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a communion song. Uh, uh, but it was not a result of a communion service. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. in 1870. A bishop by name John H. Vincent. Vincent was one of the co founders of the Shitoki Literary and Scientific Circle. Mm. It was made up of students who gathered in conferences in the summer retreats at an old Methodist camp meeting site in Lake Shitoki mm. in the Lake regions of New York City. So every summer, there is a, like a camp meeting where these students will meet. The essence was to help them get focused on their academic work, number one. Okay. And number two, Bishop Vincent also wanted to impart them spiritually. Mm. So one of such gatherings, he asked Mary Ludbury to write a hymn for their study a hymn that will capture the essence of their gathering, mm. both academically and what? Spiritually, spiritually. as well. Mm. And she decided to use Matthew chapter 14, verse 19, as the basis for that text. Okay. He used Jesus Christ feeding the 5,000 with okay. five loaves of bread and what? Two fish. Okay. As a study for these students, mm -hmm. that is not only academics, if you also want to grow, you have to grow what? Spiritually. Mm -hmm. So Matthew chapter 14, verse 19 says that, then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass, mm -hmm. just as the students would normally sit when they are being taught at these camp meetings. Mm -hmm. And he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. The disciples gave the, to it to the multitudes. Mm. So that was the, the scripture that she used mm. in writing this wonderful text. She wrote the first two stanzas mm -hmm. written by Mary. Okay. But the third stanza was written by a guy called Alexander Groves. Okay. And the fourth stanza was also written by someone else. Mm. But she dwelt on the first two word, stanzas. Mm. That these students don't only need academics. Mm -hmm. They need the bread of life. And that is the essence of this wonderful hymn. Break yeah. thou the bread of life. Break it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord to me, SDH 271, Mary Ladbury, Onye Alexander Groves, and a William F. Sherwin, and I watch what I you mean. Na Middle East SDA Church Choir, Oboyus Ki E flat major. When you are not going to continue, you are
Yen last him a year ago, no, in the a uh, hack ten thousand hubs and voices. Hack ten thousand hubs and voices. S D H two two two. Na nyumi Thomas Kelly, onye Lowell Mason na Wachroy. Dada. Thomas Kelly. Thomas Kelly. And Lowell. Lowell Mason. Mason. You know, it, this is one inspiring hymn mm -hmm. that we have to, to, to hack 10,000 harps and voices. And, voices. and when we read the first one that says, they sound the note of praise above. Jesus reigns and heaven rejoices. Mm -hmm. Jesus reigns, the God of love. See, he sits on yonder throne. Mm. Jesus rules the, the world, world alone. alone. Amen. Amen. This original hymn by Thomas Kelly had seven stanzas initially. Oh, okay. But there were no alleluias. Mm. Yeah. And it was also written in the meter 878777. Okay. That was the meter that he used. Mm -hmm in writing this wonderful hymn. Yeah. And there were no hallelujahs. Mm -hmm. It was the work of Lowell Mason who added the hallelujah tunes in 1841. Ooh, okay. So in the Adventist hymn now, there has been some alteration by Lowell Mason, Mason yeah. in the addition of what the hallelujahs. Yeah, it was printed in his hymns, second edition in 1806. Mm -hmm. Kelly's hope was in the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Even back then, his hope was in the imminent return of Jesus Christ, especially when this flesh shall put on immortality mm -hmm. and all our griefs shall fly away. Mm -hmm. As I said, there has been some alterations to this very hymn. And the significant one is the Alleluia's mm -hmm. added by Lowell Mason. Mm -hmm. But it talks about the imminent return okay. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm. Hack 10,000 hubs and voices. Lowell Mason, Onye Thomas Kelly, and our Troy. SDH 222. Now, okay, Nembeya Otodo Ebien Mwasa. Yanko Yankote Middle East SDA Church Kwa. Na Yumi Wabato no F major. Yanko de Embra.
such a spectacular rendition of the hymn. Mm. Hack 10,000 hops and voices. Middle East for you don't want to see. I mean, Shram, what to you know, my My It was here for me for a queen, a queen, a yen, you don't even find that. Um, the church board of the Middle East SDA Church board, no, you don't want to see. There are more penny there. Mumbai, Wombra, no more, my kind of one, I want to tell them you mean. One far. Your name was so, the Juma Baba Bizwa, and you mean in Shira Munina. Rather, my last few words be now. And I may acknowledge for friend and in Penny for within you near Riana. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. All right. In the choir, in isn't the Middle East SDA Church Choir, na district of Vimier, New Life District, our Ashaiman Bronodo. Na wawo Meridian Ghana Conference. Music director a wodi group ye nyim. A wana san odobo as the keyboardist for the group. Ofreno, brother Gideon Gebu. Brother Gideon Gebu. Na kwa leader a wano so osan ye conductor. A wodi juma ende mayen. Ofreno, brother Daniel Ayi. Ipe bie ni na washe group ye do. Why are they young men? <laughs> Energetic, very committed. Yamin Shramo, Yamin Shramo for Juma Moriano. Now, one elder in charge of music, Wafreno Elder Richard Mensa. Elder, Yada say, with Juma Pai Yoho. And our one church pastor, Wafreno Pastor Michael Kwabna Luaz. Also, Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao Pai with Juma Ariado. It was your father moving in a choir for the entirety of the choir. Yami Shramo, my boy, you may be in there. Oh, yeah, easy. They be from Middle East. Now, it's a motorway. Now, back right about what on you. Yami Shramo, we are so grateful. We are grateful. Uh, Juju, I have one, one last thing that I have to add. You mm -hmm. know, there's a couple in the United States of America, mm -hmm. uh, Felix and Didi. Okay. You know, they first got in touch with us. Okay. That their church choir. Uh -huh. Has to come. Hey, and that's the Middle but, East. What's the United, United States of America? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh. They are now they are now in Ghana oh. for for some holidays. Oh, okay. yeah. So our greetings to Felix and Didi. Didi. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. We shall hear more about. You know, right. I, I, I'll, mm. I'll conclude with two five four. Mm. The great physician. Great physician. The inspiration touched me so much yeah. when yeah. he saw Hunter saw how doctors and nurses mm -hmm. go about saving lives even here on earth. Mm -hmm. He replicated the same scene in this wonderful, mm -hmm. epic hymn. But the one thing is that the great physician is not only near. The text is that the sympathizing Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's also mm -hmm. sympathetic. Mm -hmm. And that is what I leave with our audience for today that all of us should seek him and find him. Mm -hmm. Because he's not only a great physician mm -hmm. who is always near, mm -hmm. he's what? Sympathetic as well. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Jesus or a sympathetic. It doesn't matter how deep you have sunk, how far you have gone. Virgil. He will sympathize with you, he will take you on, he will forgive your sins, and then he will make sure the heaven was able to make up. But when you come to the Bible, you will not be a baby and you will not be a strong man. I mean, Shrao, the Jebro, now if you today's episode of Inspiration Behind the Hymns. I mean, Adama, next week, same time, 8 p.m., would come your way again. Until then, Shramu de Moon stay safe. Other Bob Bompei, now for years, you may know. Yadi Abbey. Juju, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, our great physician, our sympathizing Jesus, it is our prayer on this episode that you touch our audience who are sick at home 
those who are watching us, those who will watch us in the future. May you touch and heal every disease, bring peace, bring joy, bring strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. So for this episode, if you are able to make a hope channel, a YouTube channel, a episode no ho, able to make son, a second dose of Middle East for one performance in the Wababe Yawaha. Powerful ministration from Middle East SGA Church Choir. You must have heard that I have heard that I'm saying. I'm here to do next week. Your best son, yes, you have you. We're from George Wahin. Now, many other. A few of you every year. There's a program here, bro. Inspiration behind the hymns. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>